What's going on guys? Uh, I'm here to talk about my man Guru right here. Um, so the, the best energy drink that I recommend is Guru. You can get it at, guru doc, at guruenergy.com. It's organic and you're not going to feel that crash. And it's really good. So what I do is, um, if uh, let's say it's later than a day and I gotta get a workout in, um, so probably like 11 a.m. noon, I'll drink like half of one of these things before the workout and then go work out. Um, they're 250 each, so they're cheaper than Red Bull. You're not gonna get that crazy Red Bull crash. And, um, and these are really, really healthy and they're really good. The stores that sell them, obviously Lifetime has them. Um, they're more expensive at Lifetime. I think they're like 350 or four bucks. It's cheaper to just go on their website and you buy them online, free shipping, 62 bucks for 24 of them. They'll ship to your door and that's for the 12 ounce, the 12 ounce one. Um, actually, the 12 ounce, yep. And then, uh, what else? You can buy them at Hy-Vee and strongly recommend, recommend them. Um, so the other energy drink, like let's say you're, this one you do feel kind of weird, but um, it isn't as bad for you, like the five hour ones, those are okay, but again, you're gonna feel that crash a little bit, and I think it kind of makes you feel kind of weird, so um, that's why uh, I would I'd really just recommend this drink, and um, yeah, that's my take on 5R. It works, but I think it can kind of eat up or catch up to you and make you feel kind of weird. Um, every other energy drink that I've had just doesn't feel good afterwards. I mean, uh, especially Red Bulls. I mean, you just feel so weird after. So, um, and uh, what else can I tell you about energy drinks? Um, I wouldn't recommend coffee don't drink coffee in the mornings. Um, the other energy drink isn't even a drink. I would recommend fasting. If you fast in the mornings and you skip breakfast, you are gonna have a lot of energy edgier and you'll just wanna get things done fast. And so, um, and eventually that edginess goes away after like a week, but you still will have that nice energy and feel pumped and You'll, your body will feel all nice and tight. So um, that's what I recommend for energy drinks. Like and subscribe, bam. All right, what's going on? Um, another one thing, you're probably wondering, this kind of leads up to it, so do I, do I take a pre-workout? Absolutely not. Uh, why don't I take a pre-workout? Um, because uh, I, I really think that your body, your mind, um, and your body get used to it and you're, you're always gonna need a pre-workout before you work out and I'm always I'm always about trying to be as natural as possible and um, not getting your body addicted to things so even the energy drinks I mean if I were to choose one um, I would choose this so well yeah for a pre-workout I, I really don't never really you don't really need one because if you fast in the mornings get breakfast and then once you eat, um, once you um, once you get done with your first your workout in the morning, then you can have your first meal. Um, you'll have plenty of energy, so you don't really need a pre-workout. And um, but yeah, because so again, the reason why I don't do a pre-workout is because um, your your body and your mind they'll get used to it. And then every time you go work out, you're gonna be like, gosh, I I feel like I'm missing something, and I hate that feeling. So. Um, that's my recommendation. So you don't really need a pre-workout, and um, just fast in the morning. No coffee. If you fast, just drink water. Um, that's all you really need. Water and that Himalayan sea salt, that pink sea salt. That helps you so you don't get as edgy or, or, or hungry, you could say. But I don't even take that anymore. All that goes away. So, bam, you can do it.